Welcome back to another Painted by Fame. So we're going to get right into this look doing a full brow cover with the old school glue stick trick. And you're going to push that product into the root of all those hairs and comb them up using a clean mascara wand. Speed up the dry time of your brow using a blow dryer on the cool setting and then set them using loose powder and a beauty pad. Dust away the excess powder and then follow through using a full coverage foundation stick as I'm using my fave Krylon TV paint stick and 4W. Secure the foundation using a beauty pad and apply loose powder directly over the top. Now that the brows are covered, I'm just dusting away the excess powder and then following through using a eye primer to get all my shadows in place. Now that I have a blank canvas, I'm etching out a new eye line using Coffee Liner by MAC Cosmetics. And I'll blend that out using a stippling brush just to soften those edges. Using the Visette Eyeshadow Compact, I'm using several shades and several brushes to get the perfect, cool, smoky edge. Once my eyeshadows are finished, I'm just taking a little Mayron Mixing Liquid on top of the lid, and I'm going to pack some glitter directly on top of that to make my eye super glamorous. Moving into my facelift trick, I'm taking some silicone adhesive and a facelift tape directly on top of my sideburn and partially on the skin. These will be pulled back with a bungee shortly. Following that, I'm neutralizing my beard to then apply foundation directly over the top. Now I'm obsessed with facial reconstruction, simply applying a base foundation, highlight and contour. So I end up applying probably three or four shades of foundation to get the perfect mold to my mug. Once I've mapped out my highlight and contour area, I'll follow through using the Beauty Blender in between each step to get a seamless finish. If you have a strong beard, you're going to need to use a beard cover and a full coverage foundation to neutralize it completely. If you don't have a lot of facial hair, you could probably get away with just using a nice full coverage cream stick foundation. A little note on why we contour and highlight is just to bring out the most of what your face has to offer. Since I have a larger forehead, I'm able to apply contour in that beige rainbow technique and cut down on my lower jawline to make a more feminine line for my face. If you have smaller space, then you don't need to contour as extreme. Everybody seems to love a nose contour, so don't be afraid to use a little cream contour along the lines of your nose and blend softly with your beauty blender. It can look gorgeous and sharp, and you just have to be very careful not to overlap onto the high point of your nose. Now to hold this very opaque foundation finish together, I'm just taking a bit of loose powder. I love the NARS Soft Velvet Loose Powder specifically because it offers coverage and a very smooth finish. And I just place that underneath the eyes on the highlight points of the face. Finish using a Ben Nye Loose Powder over the contours. Remove the security powder using a sculpting powder by Kevin Aquan to push the contours even further. Adding warmth to the skin, I'm taking a little blush on top of the cheekbones and following with an illumination to my cheekbones, upper lip, nose, and forehead using Pat McGrath Highlighters Fine Gold and Iridescent Pink from Skin Fetish 003. 
Now to capitalize on brightness, I'm taking MAC Cosmetics Shivering White Foundation just beneath my eyes for a well-rested finish. Getting into a defined brow, everybody really enjoys a full-on drag look and brows have been one of my favorite tricks to pull. I'm going to take Hover Lip Liner by MAC Cosmetics and create a very high arch, blending it out with a flat angle brush. You can apply a little bit of shadow to create a very soft finish or use a felt tipped pen to really create definition and give a sharp and kind of spooky or wicked brow. Now I'm sculpting just below the brow I've created with a highlighting cream foundation which I actually used underneath my eyes to begin with during foundation application. I'm going to set with a loose powder and this is going to bring out the most in my brow definition. For continued detailing, I'm opening up the eye with a detached bottom liner and I'm going to set it using two small brushes and a little bit of the Visart palette from before. Using the same brush and foundation that I used to define underneath the brow, I'm just going to continue to open up the eye with this bright cream foundation. Now using Kat Von D ink liner and Baudelaire, I'm just going to define that line to the most refined finish. Now for the perfect wing liner, I'm using NYX Vinyl Liquid Liner on the top lash line and just getting that point as steady handed as possible. And to ensure that the liner does not move at all, I'm going to take a little bit of black eyeshadow by Inglot and I'm going to just pack that right over the top and blend it right into the new crease. Now, my perfect nude lip combination includes Spice Liner by MAC Cosmetics, then finish it off using Kind of Sexy Lipstick and Myth just to highlight right on the center. To finish this look, I'm going to amplify the eye using Elevation Lashes and Euphoria 02. One set or two should be perfect for this level of paint. To take this look to the ultimate degree, I'm going to finish the lip using Lust 004 from Pat McGrath Labs. It's a gorgeous glittery lip. <laughs> 